Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm going to make a video talking about my first thoughts about the new Caveco. <laughs> Sorry, here is my light source on this side and you can see it. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to talk to, uh, uh, to you about the new um, Caveco piston filler. I want to warn you right now that I don't have the pen yet, so I cannot show it to you. This is just my thoughts. I don't want to deceive you. I don't have a pen. The video has no Caveco. The new Caveco piston filler, I don't have it. So, uh, let me find something to put beneath here to minimize the, the light reflections. And I think it's better now. So, the, the last, in the last few hours, maybe 24 hours, 36 hours, um, we uh, saw on social media and even on Kavek website, from where I took these images, um, we saw the new Kavek Sport, uh, new Kavek Piston Sport being uh, released. And it doesn't like to focus this, but doesn't matter, no problem. So, uh, this pen was released and I just want to tell you my thoughts about it. So, I think this one was one of the most weighted pens that I ever remember. I, I, I don't really remember any brand, any pen creating this much expectation. Um, maybe a few years ago the the new the current release of the Parker 51 but that was after it was said it was going to be released it was after an announcement this one is a different one this one is a pen that since I don't know maybe 2000 2006 by that time it was being requested all over the place by collectors to have a Piston Kavec Sport and there was no announcement to make it and so it is a different kind of expectation. It, it came from the collectors, it came from the users. So I just want to go through some things. When is this? This was really a request by the users. I think this was the users asking for this particular pen, which, which I think it's amazing. Then I want to talk to you about Caveco, about some stuff that I find interesting and then I will show you some details about the pen. I'll leave it for the end, I think. So, some of the first things that I find very, very, very interesting is that let me bring one Caveco Sport here. Um, I'll bring this one. This is the Caveco Art Sport Amber from Generation 1, uh, from Generation 2 of Art Sport, sorry. And this pen is actually very similar to what the Caveco Sport pen was. So, when Caveco Sport was reintroduced, when Caveco brand was reintroduced also, they reintroduced this model, which is really a replica, not a piston filler, it, it still has this part there. It looks like it is, but it isn't. So it is quite good replica of what uh, the old Caveco Sport pen was. So this is kind of interesting because this brand is really, in a way, based on its, I would not say it past, but, it, but on its history, which I think that is kind of interesting. There are many brands that are being recreated all over the years, but m many of them don't go back into their history and they come with some new models. From these pens that were reintroduced, I remember, for example, Tibaldi, which really went back and tried to bring back older models. And Caveco obviously did that with the Caveco Sport. This is really very similar with the vintage one. So that was their target. But let's remember the history of Caveco Sport. Uh, I don't know that much. I didn't have that the big, uh, 
the, 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 all the time that I needed to make the research for this video, but I wanted to comment this. Uh, I think it was by 1913 that was the first uh, reference to the Caveco Sport pen and by that time it was a safety pen and the safety pen was an eyedropper pen. So that was a different way of thinking. Because it was a safety pen it would be closed and would be secure to bring it with the person without risking to, to have leaks instead of having it on a table. But um, it was really uh, an eyedropper feeling, so it had no feeling system. The system was the user, not the pen. Then, uh, I think by 1938 or something like that, they introduced the piston filler pen. And there was a pen like this one. I'm not sure from how, from which year is this pen. I, don't, I didn't have also the time yet to research it. But this is an older Caveco Sport. This is a vintage one. I don't remember. I don't know the year, but maybe from the 50s. And it has this. Um, how do I tell? I, I say this. This is the um, this pattern engraved, which I can't remember now. The name and you unscrew. You have a short pen. You have an ink window. A beautiful nib. Not sure if you can see it. My camera is not behaving very well today. I think everything is a little bit out of focus. Don't know why. Okay, now better now. So it has then the a blind cap, and here you have the piston mechanism, and you can see in the ink window it going. It working so it's a small pen with an octagonal shaped cap kind of a cylindrical barrel short piston filler you put it there it had a clip that you actually can remove you can just unscrew this part take off the clip and uh, unscrew it back so the clip is kind of optional and you have a full sized pen actually quite a big pen for its original size when it is kept so they went from a me filling mechanism that is not really a filling mechanism, it, you are the filling mechanism, the eyedropper, into a piston filler, which is a self-filling mechanism. You put the pen in ink and you twist the mechanism and you fill the pen with ink. And then they, they have several versions of it. I have here another one, I think this one maybe from maybe from the 60s, and it has a cracked cap. But there you can see it is a pen very similar to that one. It is more rounded. You can see it's more like from the 60s in its kind of looks. And it is the, the 12. And you take this part out and you have also the, the, the piston turning knob hidden by a blind cap. So twist cap, you can also post it and you have a big sized pen. And this is this would be the normal thing. And mostly after uh, Aurora and Parker introduced the cartridge, the disposable cartridge with the, the Aurora dual cart and the Parker 45, things evolved to have cartridges because mostly it was cleaner. The piston was cleaner and it had less problems of the of the pens uh, burping ink and that was uh, that was a thing to create a, f a cleaner feeling system and that was something that came f mostly from the 60s and 70s and even Caveco in their 70s so not that modern pen already they had this pen, very similar to the others, but it had cartridge. As far as I know, this was only made as a prototype. That's what is in the PDF of Caveco Sport History, made by Caveco. And there you have a pen that's very similar in its concept, but now it has adapted to the newer cleaner. You don't have to wipe the pen, you don't have to 
bring a bottle with you, you just put a disposable cartridge and that's it. Done. Easy. And this is quite a logical thing to do. The fun thing is that when the, the, new, the newly introduced Caveco Sport uh, came with this version, the, this is my very old one, my first Caveco Sport pen, the, the, the engraving has no longer the uh, silver printing on it, it came in this version. This was one of the, it, it was the classic sport, some other versions that are hard to find. And when this was introduced, the uh, ice sport, which is characterized by a translucent colored cap, a translucent colored uh, section. I don't know if you can see the translucency, but it doesn't matter. And then a clear plastic barrel. When this was introduced, it didn't come with this. It was a, it is a cartridge filler, but the users started to think, wait, we can eyedropper this pen. And they started to put just some silicone uh, rubber, uh, silicone grease around the, the threads, putting it like this, and the barrel was completely filled with ink. So it would take a lot of ink to write with. And it worked. People were crazy about that, and this was one of the crazy things. It is, I have to say that I prefer, and if you follow me, you know that my favorite filling system is the cartridge system, but this was one of the things that, in my opinion, uh, moved the Kavec brand forward, was that, wait, they have a model, which is the Kavec Sport, that can be eyedroppered, and that was not a thing by the time. The Caveco Sport and the Platinum Preppy were the two pens that were usually, um, at least in Western countries, that was eyedroppered, which was kind of an interesting thing, because people were going from the most advanced, although disposable, although you can fill it, refill it, disposable filling system, which is the cartridge, and they went to the most primitive one, which is putting ink with an eyedropper. The, advantage, the advantages of that are, I would say, I don't know, three. One is that you can see the ink moving around and you have it here. Is that you have a very large ink capacity and I don't remember the third, but I think it was a fun thing to have. Uh, but also the piston filling system was also always on the minds of users and collectors because usual users and collectors usually don't think about this kind of prototype with the cartridge but they think of these older pens with the piston filler piston filling system so they went back to that and Caveco even made they had a squeeze filling uh, uh, converter and they made this piston converter. It's not a piston that rotates, it's just like a, a syringe filler, but you have a piston that goes up and down. And so I think they, they try to go for that, but obviously it takes a very small amount of ink and it's not that practical to use. It, it, I think it looks beautiful in the transparent pens, but it's not that interesting. Um, in the ink capacity. Things that I have to say, I don't like to eyedropper pens because sometimes they burp ink. I don't like to... I don't think that you really need to eyedropper a pen because the ink capacity is very, is very large, but then you have to clean the ink all over and sometimes ink goes beneath the section and it's hard to clean. And also because you put a lot of ink inside the barrel and Today, most users have lots of different colored inks and they want to have small amounts of ink to write with it and then skip it and go to another ink. I only see the big advantage of a eyedropper pen is when you like to write with really broad nibs and then you use a lot of ink, so it may make some sense to have that. 
So what I want to point here is that Caveco had an evolution throughout his, its history to go with the cartridges and stopped with the cartridges. It was relaunched with cartridges and people wanted to go back to eyedroppering, which was a very big selling point, but this is for some kind of users, for the other kind of users and collectors, they wanted the very classic feeling system, which was the piston. At some time, Caveco introduced the Caveco Sport Combimatic, which were uh, special editions, um, very limited editions. I have it, it, it was made in two versions, the blue one, and this was the Combimatic you could, there was also for some of them a pencil that you could, you could screw here and put it here to, to, to work with the pencil there and the, the fountain pen here. So it is a piston filler pen. It was released in the year 2000. As far as I know, it had a celluloid barrels from made by Visconti. I'm not 100% sure of that, but I think they were made from by Visconti. The, the, I think the old pen was kind of uh, commissioned to Visconti. And there you have the nib. It was a beautiful two-tone nib and you have the ink window, you have the pen, and again, you have a blind cap, and you have the turning knob beneath the blind cap. And I have this one, the green one, I think it's the most beautiful one of these two, very, very nice. You have also the same thing, an ink window, it, it is much darker, but it is an ink window, also blind cap and a piston turning knob. But these were limited editions and they are very sought after by collectors. They are very, very difficult to, to find. And people always told, when do you make a piston filler pen? And now Caveco decided to make a piston filler pen. And I think that is very, very interesting. Is, is it my favorite feeling system? No, it's not, but I think it's fun. Now, what I want to uh, want to say more about that is um, that the new pen will cost around 155 euros, depending on the country you are and the, the taxes that you have to pay. So let me try to let me see if I can focus the screen on my tablet. It's not that easy. Maybe I need to have my hand always here to have this focused. So the pen is 155 euros. It has a stainless steel nib, um, gold plated, and it comes in the regular size, extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and extra broad. And it has this look. And what can I say about this look? I think this look is very, very, let's call it perfect. And why do I like this look? Because this look reminds me this old pen with the classic style, vintage style clip, which I like, but it is actually based on the older version of the Caveco Sport with a piston filler because it has the ring there that you need to have because of the clip and you have another ring there just beneath the blind cap and I think that this design is perfect and if you go this is crazy to focus this sorry about sorry about this um, and if you go back in my youtube channel I have a video where I make that I make about when I give some ideas of which of what I would love to see Caveco making and I talk about making a pen with this kind of aspect which was based in their pen called Caveco Sport Lux which is a pen that they made I think around 2003 I'm not completely sure made of acrylic very nice pen it has this part but it's not a blind cap it has a ring there and in my opinion, this is a beautiful pen. I think this is kind of the most iconic model of the looks of the of the Caveco Sport in, in my way of seeing. I love this pen and I think this was a great idea. Now, another thing that I want to say 
this is an, an interesting design. Um, I, for some time, I thought they would never go back to it because it was. I think it was more expensive to build, but it was fun because when they made the first edition of the first generation of Kavek Art Sport, it came like this. This is the number as I showed you before, which is the regular type of Kavek Sport, like this one the same kind of characteristics but now when they 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 had generation one generation two generation three and generation four that was the which is the most recent one they released this this is the hickory brown which is pretty much similar color they made it with that kind of design because it has a fixed clip on place and i thought okay they are going back to that design it's different because they don't have the ring there but now look at this they have it there the ring in the same place where you have on these other piston filler pens and let me show you we have here the pen so you have a clear blue ink window it has threaded uh, the cap is threaded as usual and it has a blind cap and it has a piston turning knob I have to say that I, I don't love piston filling pens, but when they are piston filling, I love them to have these, um, this blind cap because I think it's much nicer. For example, when I use a Pelican, I'm always afraid of twisting somehow the, 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 the turning knob and having ink all over the place. As I say, I never feel too comfortable using a piston filler pen unless it has the blind cap. However, and I have to say that because it's really my opinion, when you have this, this is my favorite type of filling uh, of, of piston, is a piston, a piston with a blind cap, is that when you fill the pen you can lose this on the floor and you may never find it depending on where you are filling your pen so i would advise you to have to be very very careful about this part uh, that's the, the disadvantage the big advantage is that you won't risk turning the the turn the, the turning knob and that's a clever idea in my opinion mostly because a cavex sport is meant to be uh, post it to write because it is a short pen becomes a full-size pen when it's posted if you don't Do that with a blind cap you always be you'll will you will always be thinking and now maybe I'll turn this by accident and then what happens? So this is a good uh, Good idea. So you have here some images these images were taken from Kavek website You can see this is this pen is made of aluminium which is nice. I have here an aluminium pen. This is the Kavec AL Sport Black. So it's very similar to this one, but the metal parts are gold. Focus there, please. The it doesn't focus. Focus. Okay. The the gold the the metal parts are gold colored instead of uh, steel or chrome colored. And also, let me see if I have a picture of the cap. I'm not sure if you can see there. It says Kavec Sport with a blind engraving, not like a regular engraving like this one in a white color. So I think this is a very nice, subtle way of doing it. As I told you, the piston is hidden beneath the blind cap and it has the Kavec logo there on top. It looks beautiful. Of course, this will make everything a little bit more expensive because a piston filler has more parts. You have that little part there, the metal rings and so on. You have more parts with it. Another interesting thing is that I found that this is the replacement nib and the replacement nib, they say it is a 190 size of nib. I don't know 190, I know the, 
the Bok 180, the 190, I don't know. I think it's a number 5 nib, but maybe it goes deeper inside the section. I'm not sure about that. We'll have to see what it is. Um, I didn't open this one yet, but let me just open the Lux Sport because it has a different, but not. I don't think it is the same system as that one. So I think it's it's a different a different color that you have for these new sports. So if you for this piston sport, so if you want to exchange nibs, you have to buy these ones. They are listed on Kavek website by around 15 euros. Again, so this is a, a, a metal pen, a, a aluminium pen, which I think is good because it gives some resistance. Uh, the pen comes inside this box. At, at least there is the, the, the possibility of having it, it like this in this set with uh, a little ink bottle. I think it's 30 milliliters. No, 32 milliliters ink, ink bottle of royal blue. And this is, I think they call it the starter set because it comes in this vintage tin, very nice rounded one, but there, in this way, it is ready to write, and I think this is a very good option. One another, one other thing that I like in piston filler pens, in the, sorry, in cartridge filler pens, and it was one of the reasons I bought this one. I may talk about that more one day. When I bought this pen, was because I was in need to have a pen to write with, and I wanted a very cheap one. I was outside, I need to buy one to write because I was going to have to be with, a, with some friends and we, are go, we were going to write, I needed a pen and I didn't want to buy cartridges, I just wanted a pen and the pen came with a cartridge inside so it was just to put the cartridge in and the pen was ready to write and sometimes you buy a piston filler pen and now what do you do? You have to buy a bottle and so on. In this case you have a small bottle, if you don't want this you can, you can buy a slightly cheaper set that has no bottle if you don't need, if you have lots of ink uh, hanging around your house, like I do. So this is these are the photos of the pen. I really, really like the this blind engraving. And by now, I only know that this pen will be released by the end of March or the beginning of April. It will be released in black only. It's kind of a piston AL sport in black. And this reminds me of this pen, which is a pen that I like, the red AL Sport from uh, Chinese, it was a, a Chinese uh, related edition, an exclusive, which is a very nice red, a matte look like this one. This is not one of the glossy pens, this is a matte finished pen. I think it will be like this one with a blind engraving. I see that there is no made in Germany, as, as you can see here. And as you can see here, it only says Kavec Sport. So this is a very interesting pen that I really like. And my, my thoughts are also, will they release other colors? I'm not sure, but I'm very confident they will because I think Kavec have two kinds of, two kinds of people that are interested in, which are the users, and then you have the collectors. The collectors want to buy every variation, they are a little bit crazy like I am, but I also think this pen will attract some other people, people who like piston filler pens, and people that are going after, okay, we have now a new pen, and I want to try this. I will take this out of here, because it makes the autofocus go crazy, and I don't like it. So the, this version will be black like this. I hope there will be some other versions. I would be. I think it would be interesting to have red because red is a, a color that is a, is is made several times, at least three times in the AL Sport, and I just want to show off because this red one is really hard to find today. It was a Chinese exclusive edition. There is also the current, which is also a matte version, but with the white engraving. And this is the uh, deep red that you can find easily available with the 
chrome trim instead of gold trim and there was some time ago this other pen this is very elusive you this you i can almost say that you can't find this pen you can if you have if you are very lucky um it was an uh, exclusive edition for spain and it has a uh, chrome trim it's very similar to the other ones but you see it has a shorter thread there and it is a shinier and it's more magenta looking color and there is also another one that i forgot to bring to the table let me get it and that one is the Caveco collection ruby you have there engraved Caveco collection ruby which also kind of a, a shade of red more on the very dark pink side of it so it's i would think it would be interesting i don't love red pens i have to say i don't love piston filler pens but i want this Caveco pen i want every variation of it and i really want to have a red one available because i would really like to see all these come together and look at it but i have to say that the most the thing that i like the most about this pen is that it is made based on the design of course on the vintage pens all together because if you put this one together with the rings there and the ring there with this one that has the clip you have the new pen and i like that it is based on this design because i think this design is really really beautiful so the new pen will look a lot like this imagine this is a piston and it is a matte aluminium pen and then everything will be kind of the same except here you have an ink window so the pen i, I think it will, will be very very beautiful and in my opinion it will attract some other people beside caveco collectors so this is what i have to tell you i will try to know much more about this and as soon as i receive one for review i will show you the unboxing and i will go crazy about it if for one video like just about my thoughts about the pen i take half an hour imagine how long <laughs> i make an unboxing video uh, showing the actual pen so these were just my thoughts i don't have the pen yet i can't wait to have it i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this will help this will help you to decide if you want to pre-order the pen or not i will leave a link be below um on the description so you can find it but it will be available uh, worldwide so it's not a special edition it is a regular edition you can find it easily it's now available for pre-order and you can find it and i hope this video even if i don't have the pen yet will help you to decide if you really want to pre-order it then i will give you my honest opinion when i receive it my opinions are honest of course i I am always partial about Caveco because I like Caveco pens and it's not because I'm kind of sponsored by Caveco when I do this but it's because I really love and for example for all these pens only these two were sent to me by Caveco the other ones were purchased by me so I, I really really love them and there is a chance that I'm a little partial but as I told you I will tell you the price I tell you what I think it's good what is not good and that's it um, I'll try to know details also I will try to know something that I hate to do but people love to do it is if the piston uh, the, the piston unit can be um, disassembled by the user for maintenance really you don't you you almost never need to disassemble a piston unit even if you have to put some uh, silicone grease inside you can just unscrew the nib and put it inside with a toothpick so you don't need to really disassemble the pen but i'll try to get all this information to let you know because i know this is the kind of thing that even i if i don't like i know the other users do so i'll try to give you my best knowledge and 
I'm very excited and I hope to meet you here on the channel soon for some more videos. So, see you next time. Bye.